Hello! We are officially two days post-show and as promised, here is my video drop of the show weekend. I did get very caught up inside the <laughs> show, so a lot of this will be just me talking about what happened during the weekend. Since the show, I have been to a spa with my mum. I had a photo shoot today, which was just we're in the gym with me lifting some weights and just making the most of me in this shape. I have eaten a lot of food that I've missed. So my mum cooked me a Sunday dinner last night with bread and butter pudding. I've had a pizza and lasagna and a few of the like chocolatey things that people have bought me. And I've definitely put on some water weight on my face over the past two days. And I don't look like I'm going to die quite so much, which is making me very happy. As of tomorrow, I will be back to calorie counting. So I will be starting on about 1400 calories. I'll be going back to doing probably about half an hour cardio a day and lifting weights. I'm really looking forward to pushing my weight up and getting my period back basically. I'm also going to concentrate on lifting heavy so I can build some muscle. And yeah, just really looking forward to getting my life back a little bit. so excited i have woke up i have spoke to john about timings to set off and we are just going to do a check-in and i'm going to go and get some black coffee now i am on reduced water today so maximum two liters i will include that in my coffees so let's go have the same breakfast we had yesterday so oats bananas and peanut butter I'm ready to go in and then I'm gonna go and wash my hair everything is packed and ready to go I am getting picked up in 45 minutes so I'm gonna eat once more and then have a quick shower ready to go. We are on our second stop and we have got a Burger King cheeseburger and some fries to fill me up. Buzzing. We have made it to the hotel so we've just checked in. We are just going to have a bit of a chill and then I am going to get my tan done. I am home and back at the hotel now. I went to check in at the venue, completely forgot to record, just get got so caught up with everything. So after I registered, I made the decision with the Two Bros team that I would also enter beginners. So I will be doing first time as figure and first time as beginner, which will be straight after each other. So that will give me a bit more experience on stage, which will be exciting. And it will give me the opportunity to go up against some people who have competed before as well. And I also met Justin, who is the promoter for 10X Athletic, and it is really nice to put a face to a name. I speak to him over social media quite regularly, but yeah, nice to actually meet him in person, and I'll pop a little picture up in a second so you can see <laughs> the height difference between us. And I got measured, and I am four foot nine and a half. So, um, yeah, that's what we are at the moment. So I will be having a burger soon and getting ready for settling in for the night. So my <laughs> tanning experience, I went to the venue and queued up for my base tan. And there was a couple of girls there who were all doing bikini, waiting to get their tan as well. Um, and it was really nice to meet some of the competitors and some of them were first timers, some of them had competed before. They gave us a bit of advice about being on stage. And um, 
then when we go into the tanning booth you there's you're surrounded by like pop-up tents and there's boxes in the middle and you basically just get naked there and then and there's bodies everywhere getting spray tanned just naked bodies <laughs> everywhere <laughs> i have seen so many naked bodies already today and we are only a few hours <laughs> in to this day um yeah just at the most bizarre situation so anyway once you're naked you put a hair net on you put these like stickers on your feet so you don't get black feet and you stand in the tanning booth they turn you around and they tan you and then you switch over to another tent which has a fan in it which the weather today has been raining, winding and absolutely freezing. So you stood there stark naked um, with a industrial fan blowing the tan to make sure that it's dry. And it was so cold. Um, and yeah, really lovely to meet the girls from Get Tan. They were super professional, really helpful, really calming. And then, yeah, so I am really tanned right now. And... Um, the weighing with the she we has begun, which is fun and games. I absolutely stink. I have not been able to put deodorant on since my last shower, which was this morning at about 11 o'clock. So no deodorant until I come off stage, which is a new one for me. And now I also smell like tan. So all the glitz and glamour going on. <laughs> Shut up, just video it. <laughs> has just arrived so I'm about to tuck into this and then I will be heading to bed to get an early night taking half a sleeping tablet from Boots and then I will be getting up in the morning ready for show day eating my burger and my veins are super popping which is great it means the carbs are doing the job excited to go to bed and wake up and see what we look like in the morning up. it is show day morning I am <laughs> so excited. I am a little bit nervous too, but predominantly excited. I It's now half seven, so I'm just going to let myself chill for half an hour and then I'm going to go and do a check-in with John. I am not on stage till about two, three o'clock, so we've got some chill time. We will do a bit of a pump before I go on stage. I'll get my hair and makeup sorted, go and get my tan and then we'll be ready to go on stage. Everything is looking tight and my legs have come back in. I was a bit concerned last night after eating my burger. So I'm just having 35 grams of oats before we get ready for the day. As we are staying in a hotel, I did my oats overnight with some <laughs> water and they are cold. Um, a bit gross, but <laughs> they do the job. The rest of the day, we will just be having rice cakes and cookies and Haribo to bring my veins out but, and I am on minimal minimal water today so only having water when I'm eating and it's little little tiny baby sips that's it mm. so my oats are in and I'm just chilling out in the room we 
you don't have to leave to go and get my spray tan until about quarter past 11. So I've got a couple of hours. I'm just going to take it easy for a bit, watch some telly, and then I'm going to start on my hair and makeup before my So I am just starting on my hair, and this song has come on in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, feeling a bit nervous now, um, but also really looking forward to the day. Just want to get my hair and makeup on so that I feel ready to set off to get my second time. in and had a look at me and we are now having two rice cakes with peanut butter and quite a lot of jam on and I'm just about to finish my hair. Small minor disaster. I dropped my powder on the floor. Never mind. Okay, so my makeup is done. My hair is done and I am just waiting for us to go and get my second tan. We're then gonna come back, put my bikini on, go back to the venue and then it's showtime. third place medals I got third in first timers and third in beginners it was amazing the two girls who placed above me were phenomenal their muscle mass was just unreal and I am just so proud that I got up there and brought everything that I could to that day so I am cheersing with a bottle of Prosecco and some strawberries and I am super happy I'm so glad that it went well and yeah really proud of myself for everything that I've achieved this weekend. So I'm just about to get in the shower. The really unglamorous part about bodybuilding is I have not put deodorant on for about 48 hours now. I haven't showered. <laughs> um, I have been wearing these clothes for the past two days. I have been weaning a she wee. Um, I absolutely stink of biscuits because of my tan. My hands and everything is just like the strangest colour. And um, yeah, I'm feeling, although I look very glam, <laughs> I feel pretty gross. So I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to have a really good exfoliation. And um, hopefully I will feel a little bit better after that. Take my makeup off sit down, have a chill, soak in the evening and just have a really big chill. Tomorrow I am going to the spa with my mum, which I'm really looking forward to. We're going to have some treatments and a chill and an afternoon tea. So that'll be really lovely. I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I can't believe that, yeah, this day is now been and gone. I have finally had a shower and I cannot tell you how good this is going to feel ah the luxury of being able to wear it's the morning after the show and i cannot tell you how much i have been looking forward to this smashed avocado with bacon tomatoes and eggs on top really looking forward to eating this so guys i hope you enjoyed that that was show weekend I had the most amazing time during the show. I loved every single second of being on stage. The only thing I would say is it just went too quickly. I feel a bit lost now. Um, I was on stage for maybe five minutes for each category and it was fantastic. It just feels like it went so fast. So. I'm on a high, but I'm also kind of feeling a bit like, oh, wow, it's over now, and I don't really know what to do with myself. 
in a couple of weeks I will post a video about kind of my thoughts, how I feel in a couple of weeks, my pros and my cons and also kind of how much it's cost me this experience. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has watched from the beginning. I started doing these blogs eight weeks out and the past eight weeks have been a massive roller coaster. The thing that I would say is speaking to my friends and family the past few days and spending time with them has really made me realise how much prep took over my life. I was not myself, I was short, <laughs> I am short, I mean that I was short tempered with people, I didn't really want to spend time with anybody, I was so concentrated on bringing my absolute everything to prep that I kind of just lost sight of who I was a little bit, so it feels really good to feel like myself again and to be in a position where you know, I can make the decisions about what I eat and what I do with my, my time. So I will be doing a video in a few weeks and see where I'm at. But thank you so much for your support. Uh, it has been an amazing journey and I am so proud of myself for everything that I've achieved over this weekend and over the past three months, four months of doing prep. It has been a phenomenal journey and I can proudly say that I have done a bodybuilding competition, which is exactly what I set out to do. And I've got two massive medals to show for that. I am beyond proud of myself and I am so happy to have been able to share this journey with you.